Hello everyone, welcome to Mastering Math and thank you for watching. This video series has been designed and developed by the El Samigo Learning Center Scholars in the Faculty of Engineering at Carleton University. My name is John O'Keefe and I'll be your host for this high school math review. I recently graduated from Carleton University with a Master's of Applied Science in Aerospace Engineering. In addition, I've worked in the LC Center for the past six years helping first year engineering students such as yourselves. This math review is intended to refresh your memory based on high school math topics that you'll be seeing throughout first year engineering courses. This is meant to be a supplemental resource, so it's not meant to replace any of your in-class learning activities. New students are expected to view this video series as well as read the accompanying PDF document in the link below. And then please revisit this as needed throughout the academic term. And with that, we'll get started. So in this video, we're going to cover exponentials and logarithms. So these are useful throughout first year engineering for solving expressions. And specifically, it's used in the circuits course. So that's ECOR 1043. Uh, and that's useful for converting to decibels. So we'll get into that in applications. So we'll start off with exponentials, then we'll discuss logarithms, and finally, applications. So starting off with exponentials here. So we have a base, make sure that's good base a and we multiply this by a again and then we repeat this and we keep multiplying it by a n times this is the exact same thing as a raised to the power of n where a is your base and n is your exponent one of the most common bases used in engineering is e it's called the natural base and it's going to come up regularly throughout engineering it's similar to pi where it's just a constant and it's equivalent to 2.718 so now we have a few laws related to exponentials so our first law we're going to cover is multiplication so if we have a raised to the power of n and then we have another base of a raised to the power of m we can simplify this expression to be a to the n plus m. So now we have a single base with just one exponent where we can add the two n and m's together. Similarly, we can do division. So a raised to the power of n and then divided by a raised to the power of m. And this is equivalent to a to the power of n minus m and our final one that we have is going to be a power so if we have a raised to the power of n and then we raise all of this to the power of m this can be simplified to a raised to the power of n times m so we are just multiplying the two exponents together so now we'll just get into a couple examples here. So for example one, uh, we have x cubed times x to the eight. So this is our very first law, a to the n times a to the m. So we just add the two exponents together. So this becomes x to the 11. Similarly, we'll do another example. So our example two here, um, we have y cubed and then we raise to the power of five. So this is our third example, a to the n m. So we're gonna multiply the two exponents together. So this becomes y to the 15. And I have another example in the PDF document. Uh, check the description below if you wanna go through that. All right, so I'm a bit off center there, but um, going into logarithms now. So logarithms were designed to be the inverse of uh, exponentials. Inverse is just the opposite, um, opposite operator. So uh, a subtraction is the opposite to addition. So an inverse was created such that we could have the exponent a raised to the power of n. And if we want to solve for what n is, we need to get rid of this exponential somehow. So we created the logarithm where log base a of a to the n 
is equivalent to just n. So the, the logarithm just cancels out with this exponential, uh, leaving you with just the exponent. And this exponent could be x, and that could be what you're trying to solve for. Um, similarly, as we had over, over with exponentials, we have the base e. With logarithms, we have um, something called ln. So if we have ln of a, this is the exact same thing as log of base e a. Where again, the e is the natural base, and it just comes up throughout engineering, and it's very useful. So you'll have both these on your calculator, ln as well as log, and it's just a different base, essentially. If log doesn't have a base, um, a base specified, it's assumed to be 10 throughout engineering. So now some laws related to this. So if we have, of, we have our first multiplication, so log of x times y, this is equivalent to log of x plus log of y. And similarly, we can do division. So log of x divided by y. This is equivalent to log of x minus log of y. Yeah, both those are going to be in blue. That's all good. And then our last one that we have is the power. So we have log of x, and we're going to raise this to power of n. So this is equivalent to n log of x. So basically the power just kind of comes down out in front of the logarithm. So those are our three main laws of logarithms that we're going to cover. There are more, but we're just not going to cover them through, through this. So now a couple examples here. So if we have our example one for logarithms, we have ln of x plus 3 is equal to 2. So first we're going to get rid of this uh, logarithm. So we're going to apply the inverse. So this is e to the ln x plus 3 is equal to e to the 2, where we have to raise both sides to the power of e. So this one cancel out the e with the logarithm there. And this is going to leave us with x plus 3 is equal to 7.39. And now solving for x, subtracting 3 from both sides, we're left with x is equal to 4.39. Now a second example, so ex2, we have 20 log of 2x is equal to negative 40. So now first we're going to get rid of this 20, so we're going to divide both sides by 20. So it's going to give us log 2x is equal to negative 2. And now we're going to raise both sides to the power of 10. So this is going to give us 10 to the power of log 2x is equal to 10 to the power of negative 2. And this is going to cancel out this logarithm with this 10 to the power. And as I said, if the logarithm doesn't have a base, it's assumed to be base 10. So now this leaves us with 2x is equal to 0.01. Now solving for x, we're left with 0 0.005. So that's going to cover it for logarithms here. And now finally getting into some applications. So the main application that we have for this is converting to decibels. 
decibels is uh, it's a unit so it's a logarithmic unit um, similar to like volts or meters or anything like that decibels is kind of a ratio of a unit in a logarithmic scale and it's used in the circuits course so that's ecore 1043 and it's used for uh, voltages so in your circuits course your voltage in decibels so it's just a unit is equivalent to 20 logarithm of your voltage in regular volts so in blue we have the volts and in red we have the voltage in decibels so if we want to tackle an example here of how this would actually use um, we have a frequency at a frequency of 5 hertz we have a measured voltage of 0 0.1 volts and so this right here this should be in blue because this is what we this is what the measured in volts is and then in red we have the voltage in decibel and this is what we're looking for so now to solve this the frequency doesn't matter. The frequency is just where we measured this voltage at. At what frequency did we measure this voltage at? So we just plug the 0 0.1 volts into here and we solve for the voltage in decibels. So this just looks like VDB is going to be equal to 20 logarithm of 0 0.1. Solving this, we're left with, where is it? Negative 20 decibels. And that would be our voltage in decibels. So similarly, we can then solve this. We can do the inverse of this. So example two, if we're given the voltage in decibels now, so VDB is equal to uh, negative 10 decibels. And now we're looking for the voltage in regular volts. So what we can do is we can rearrange and solve for this voltage. So that will look like voltage is equal to we have 10 to the power of our voltage in decibels divided by 20. So what we did here was we just divided both sides by 20, then we, um, then we raised both sides to the power of 10, and, and then we just solved for that. So now what we can do, we just solve this expression we plug in negative 10 decibels for vdb and this gives us voltage is equal to 0 0.316 volts just by plugging this negative 10 decibels into right here and so that's what that's going to do us for our first session so this was exponentials and logarithms here so if you have any questions feel free to email the El Samigo Learning Center at carlton.ca um, and then feel free to check out the PDF document uh, for more examples and practice problems. So thanks for watching everyone and I'll see you in the next video.